Okay, guys. Okay, for reading number 12, we're going to check in to see what is the family pattern. What's the theme going on with the family? Okay, let's see. First, let's see what ancestor or what spirit guide or who wants to sit in the spirit throne for this. Who's going to help us? Who's going to guide us? Okay, we have here the haunted. Ooh, interesting. So, you might feel this person around you. Or this person's haunted by what is happening. Maybe they had something to do with it. Okay. First, let's see if we get any more. Oh, I left a couple cards down there. Let's see if we get a couple. Um, <clears throat> anything more on this haunted? Who is this person that's coming across as haunted? We have here the King of Pentacles. This could be um, the patriarch of the family. This could be the breadwinner. This could be someone that was financially stable because of. But the King of Pentacles is very financially stable. So this could be who's coming through here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Of course, it could be any sign since we're doing the spirit that's coming through here like that. And we have the Knight of Pentacles too. So this person might have went from a knight to a king or um, they're very stable, very reliable, very slow moving. And we also, ah, they might feel stuck here. So this person that's coming through might be haunted by something because maybe they felt like they couldn't move. They were stuck somehow. But they gain a different perspective now. All right. Interesting. You might know who this is. You might not. But let's find out now. What is the theme or the pattern? Let's see what comes up for that. What is the theme or a pattern? Survive. Oh. So whatever's going on, maybe the family feels like there's never enough or they always feel like they're in survival mode. So that's the theme that need to survive, need to do. Almost feels like, okay, maybe someone's saying here, we need to do what we need to do in order to survive. That's, that's what it is. So that's what we're going on. Okay, let's see. We have here the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. A lot of love here. A lot of emotions. Maybe a lot of emotions about what they had to go through here too. And we have here the Seven of Pentacles. Someone can feel like um, they're always reassessing, always reevaluating, always trying to do what they can for their loved ones because to survive here. Um, and hoping for a harvest because the Seven of Pentacles could be harvest too. Okay, we have here... The three of swords, but there's always heartache or there, there's some kind of um, turmoil or some kind of suffering. Wow. Okay, so now. Now we want to know which ancestor was the pattern originator? Who actually started this pattern within the family? Let's see who that is. Let's see who we get. Drama. Okay, who is the person who loves drama? We got a drama queen here. Look at that. So, whoever you think of in your family is always causing drama. You know, that's they might like the drama. They like to stir things up. And that's horrible because we're creating that energy. And the people that love drama, they're always, oh, it's the worst thing that ever happened. Well, of course it's the worst thing that ever happened because you always want that drama. Ooh. Okay, let's see. See if you know who this is, but let's see what we get on this. We have here the Five of Cups. Yeah, woe is me. I'm, I'm missing the Three Cups, but they don't see that. They don't see the possibilities here. They're always looking at the cat. The oh, the glass is half full, half empty. Never. I mean, half empty. I'm sorry. They're always looking at half empty instead of half full. So I know that didn't come out right. They should be looking at it as half full, but they look at it as half empty. Okay. Then we have here the Knight of Swords. And a very determined energy, too. Almost feels like this energy of this person likes the drama. They'll fight with you over it. It's like, but this is the way it is. And, and because they just, they, you know, they get the attention. The whole thing is their attention seeker. Okay, so we have here the Six of Cups. And this goes way back. 
so we have memories of going back and in, in the past so yeah so this is, it could be a past life with the six of cups someone is just they could be bringing a past life into this life and it's affecting the whole family wow okay so now why did this pattern begin let's see if we get that hmm why did this pattern begin let's see service oh okay so someone started this pattern it, whether it's this person that causes a drama or it could have been their mother and then so forth and so forth because someone felt like i think you had to give service you had to give and they're under the uh, impression that if you give you can't you can't be paid for it you can't receive you have to be it's, it's a martyr complex here that's what happened someone in the family had the martyr complex that is affecting the whole family where it's evil to probably get money or something for for what you do you have to do it out of the service of your heart you have to give 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 and not receive Ooh. okay so we have here lovers okay so this is choices could have started with some kind of lover connection why do I feel like, now you might know about this, but you might not. Someone might have took on a lover. And then afterwards, they're like a lot of regret, a lot of remorse here. Repenting and feels like they had to be in service in order to um, fix their karma, justify the situation. Wow. Gemini energy with the lovers. And then we have here the emperor. Okay. So I'm trying to be very controlling here. I got a cough. Okay, yeah, so this is like being in control service. This could also, I almost feel like maybe someone maybe worked for a church or something like that. This emperor could be someone of um, a religious leader, even though it's not coming up as a hierophant. It still could be. Okay, then we have the magician manifesting. This is kind of weird, huh? could be that you know what it could be that this person might have been kind of controlling here with the emperor and was you know trying to manifest something by trying to control such a situation and it could be the person's lover or it could be um someone trying to i think tr trying to control things yeah that's that's what i get Some, someone trying to control things here so if someone did something maybe they felt guilty of then they had to repent they had to be in service um, they could have been, now you look at service, you look at the emperor, it could have been like they were being controlled here. Wow. Okay, so now, I want to tell a little story here. Um, I went to a Catholic school, and there was a teacher there that wanted to be a nun so bad, but her family wouldn't let her be. And I think her, was it the brother or somebody was a priest, so they didn't want... Uh, two people to be of in service. So this woman was impossible. I swear to God, she was one of the meanest people I ever met. And she was big. And when she came down, like she was always getting mad. Her face would turn bright red. And she wore this gigantic cross on her all the time. Because since she couldn't be a nun, you know how the nuns always had the cross on? Well, this cross, I swear to God, was like this big it was huge i'm surprised it didn't give her a neck pain well anyway when she when she would get mad and she'll come down the aisle you know you have those little seats that you can't get away from her and and the whole the whole floor would shake when she, because she was she was big and i'm saying wow it's like she and it's all it's like she always wanted to put the fear of god in everyone she didn't do anything nicely she always seemed like she was angry and she was angry because she wanted, her parents wouldn't let her do what she wanted to do. They should have let her become a nun. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys. So now, okay, so what is the first step you can take to begin breaking this pattern? Okay, let's see what we could do. If we can find out anything on this. The first step you can take. Let's see. We have here creativity. Okay, you got to be creative. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we get for that. I like that. That makes sense. You know, the creativity actually makes sense because that's how you manifest. So it's almost 
like it, it's almost like the magician here too is I'm feeling okay creativity and we have Hierophant oh look at this so Hierophant is like the Pope but this is um being creativity to maybe committing to something here higher learning doing something in the conventional way I don't know it almost feels like it's and, and, you know, I shouldn't say this, but it feels like it's opposites. That's the energy I'm feeling. Because uh, the creativity to me is being free-flowing. And, and the higher thing comes out as very conventional. Not, not a great imagination, you know. Let's see. Taurus energy of creativity. Let's see. What do we have here? Seven of Cups. Options. Choices. Okay, so yeah, maybe just look at all your options. Look at all your choices. See what you can do here. Be creative about it. But you know what? Maybe you have to be creative about it. You have to be committed to it. And this could be higher learning too. You have to find out something here. Maybe you have to um, maybe look deeper um, into something. Try to find out more about whatever happened in the past. Let's see. We have judgment. Oh, yeah. Judgment is usually something coming back around. You might have to go back and look at things and make a make a judgment here. But let it let the energy or whatever information you find to just flow free. Okay, so now let's see. Now we're going to go to what message do the ancestors have for you about this pattern? Okay. Let's see what message they have for you, your ancestors. Let's see. Communications. Well, that makes sense. Look at them. They're ready to fight, though. So there's something about communication. The Ace of Swords. Okay. So maybe someone has, well, maybe this person is still around. I'm thinking it's someone that passed, but maybe this person is still around. And someone might have to confront someone. Find out what, what the deal is. Why is this, why you act like this? <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> I want to say, you know, it's like, why do you behave that way? I mean, we all have that, don't we? I mean, in your family, there's always something. That's what we're meant to be here for. We're meant to figure things out and work things out and um, yeah ace of swords speak your truth and also to me it's like you know if something is not working you have to cut it out somehow okay so we have a two of cups partnership communication partnership soulmate connection here and then we have the four of swords yeah you have to communicate get together okay the what they're telling you here is there has to be communication there has to be truth there has to be talking one on like one-on-one -on -one with someone here to for the healing to begin that makes sense doesn't it okay let's see what the advice is from spirit what is the advice here and then this could be anybody any spirit to which get some kind of advice observation oh yeah just observe sit back and observe see what happens let's see what of course you don't see a lot of this coming but i like to see what's going on the bottom here where there's something very wholesome about something here you're going to find out that something was wholesome or something something that maybe someone was oh, i almost feel like someone was painting something as a different picture something could have been very wholesome and someone might have been painting something darker than what it was you know, maybe there was a connection here that someone's feeling very guilty about because of this emperor. And it actually was someone that, you know, met someone that was really the love of their life. And it was forbidden for some reason. Or maybe, you know, at a time, if, if your um, relatives, your family, or someone, your mother or father didn't want you to do something, then, it, you know, you couldn't do it. So let's see. The observation. I mean, I still holds true now, but not as much observation we have here the six of wands there's a victory here but this person looks like you know th they worked hard for this victory so someone there is a victory so there will be a victory if you observe if you pay attention you'll break this pattern is what i'm saying if you observe what's actually happened we have the devil energy okay capricorn energy also um it could be something that is like a temptation of some sort 
think you're going to find out something here. Something's going to be revealed. Someone could have been like held um, in a position with this emperor here. Having like control. Okay, we have here Queen of Swords. Yes. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's like the vice is to get to the truth. Demand the truth. Observe. But also make sure you get the truth here. And then at the bottom deck here we have the Knight of Wands. So there will be some kind of, someone coming towards you with some kind of information. You will receive some kind of information here. It might be pretty passionate too. It, isn't this interesting how we have the Knight for the bottom of both decks. We have wholesomeness and the Knight of Wands. So it almost feels like to me, now this could be, that this person could have been a player that you might find out. And this person was very wholesome, very meek, very mild maybe very um, religious and this person here was like oh i want that <laughs> i know that's a little crazy uh but you know that's what i mean look at these two cards together she's like you know she's taking care of the wheat or something like that and he's he's looking at her like he wants to devour her <laughs> she's wholesome <laughs> okay i'm getting i'm getting silly i'm getting tired okay guys um so let me know what you think. I hope you guys are enjoying these. I'm just doing them to see, you know, if, you know, what comes up. And then, of course, if when, if whoever wins the uh, personal reading, if you want to tap into something with spirits, you know, with your ancestors or some passed over loved ones, you know, maybe, maybe not. I'm just, ha I'm just trying to do something different here. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. And, um... I just want to say I really like all your love and support, you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love you so much. And thank you for all your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments. And don't forget, the information below is um, there. So if you want to enter for a chance to win a free reading, I'm going to be drawing a, uh, a person once a week so for a 30-minute reading. Okay, guys. So um, hope to talk to you again. Bye.